and gentlemen, Facade was written by William Walton, poking fun, uh, making a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely poking fun at uh, Schoenberg's Pio Lunaire. So looking at uh, German romanticism and saying poo-poo to it in a very British way. This piece um, has texts by Edith Sitwell. They are dated. Some of them are moderately offensive. Some are even more offensive, if you can understand them. <laughs> they are elaborate and complicated and very silly, and they make fun most of all of the British. So enjoy. Babylon, hobby horses foam, the dumb scar and also risk club. With the courses of the breakers, rocking horses, and with glosses, Lady Venus on the settee of the horse hill seat. When Lord Tennyson in Laura's wore a glory of free, in a borealic iceberg came Victoria. She, Prince Albert's tall memorial, took the colors of the floral and the borealic iceberg floating on the sea. Now, risen Madame Venus, for whose sake from far came the fat and zebra emperor from Zanzibar, where the golden bukas lay for age of Africa of Cathay, all laid before that shady lady on the fibroid shore. <laughs> Fracker stout as any water pot came stood with Sir Bacchus both are drinking the black tar grapes blood plucked among the tartan leafage by the furry winter's grief it could not wither like a squirrel with a gold card nut Queen Victoria sitting shocked upon the rocking horse of a way said to the lawyer this minx of course it's as sharp as any lynx and blacker deeper than the drinks and quite as hot as any hot and hot without remorse but the lynx said she and the drinks you can see are as hot as any hot and hot and not the goods for me Time after their tea, through the young fields of the springing bohe, Jemima, Jocasta, Dinah, and Deb walked with their father, Sir Joshua Jeb, an admiral red, whose only notion a butterfly posed on the peaked ocean is of the perigd sea, whose swell breaks on the flowerless rocks of hell. Under the thin trees, Deb and Dinah, Jemima Jocasta walked, and finer their black hair seemed flat sleek to see than the young leaves of the springing bohe. Their cheeks were like nutmeg flowers when swell, the rain into foolish silver bells. They said, if the door you would only slam, or if papa you would one say damn instead of merely roaring a vast or boldly invoking the nautical blast. We should now stand in the street of hell, watching siesta shutters that fell with a noise like amber softly sliding. Our moon like glances through this gliding would see at her table print and set. Marina sitting at her toilette with eyelids closed as soft as the breeze that flows from gold flower on the incense trees. The Admiral said you could never call, I assure you it would not do 
at all. She gets down from table without saying please, forgets her praise and to cross her teeth. In short, a scandalous reputation has shocked the whole of the hellish nation. And every tube and chinoiserie with whom we should sit a black for he who stretch out some simi and finger thin to scratch you, my dear, like a mandolin. For hell is just as properly proper as Greenwich, or as Bath, or Chopper. What are you staring at, mariner man? Wrinkled as sea sand and old as the sea. Those trains will run over their trails if they can. Snorting and sporting like porpoises flee. The burly, the whirly kick wheels of the train. As round as the world and as large again. Running half the way over to Babylon. Down through fields of clover to gay Troy town. A puff in their smoke. As grey as the curl on my forehead. As wrinkled as sands of the sea. But what a can matter to you, my girl, and what can that matter to me? Soldiers pass, the light is braying like an ass. See the tall Spanish jade with hair black as nightshade, worn as a cockade. Flee her eyes, gasconade, and her gowns parade as stiff as a brigade. Tee the hard and braying light. To zebra black and white, it will take away the slight and free. Tinge the mouth organ sound, oyster soul notes oozing round her flounces as they sweep the ground. The trumpet and the drum and the martial cornets come to make the people dumb, but we won't wait. This life for tonight, moonlight light watered me quite bright to make clear the declaration of a Paphian vocation beside the castaneted sea. Where stalks a capitario, swaggered braggadocio, sword and mustachio, he is green as a casada and his hair is an armada. To the jade cob kiss me harder. He called across the battlements as she heard our voices thin and shrill as the steely grasses trill or the sound of the unica when the folk has the peak in the palace of the Queen Chinese. of the heat Dolores, Inej, Manu, Thia, Isabel, Luthia, mock time that flies. Lovely bird, will you stay and sing, flirting your sheened wing peck with your beak and cling to our balconies. They flirt, their fans flaunting. Oh, silence, enchanting as music, then slanting their eyes. Like gilded or emerald grapes, they take mantillas, capes hiding their simian shapes. Smiles, each lady, our spadil is done. Dance the quadrille from hell's towers to Seville. Surprise! Siesta. 
Dolores said. Through gilded trellises of the heat spangles pelt down through the tangles of bell flowers. Each dangles her castanets. Shutters fall while the heat mutters with sounds like a mandolin or tinkle tambourine. Ladies, time dies. Oh, oh that's me. Oh, God. Uh. When dawn passed, Quito arrived at the seaside where the donkey's high tide bred. He saw the bandito Joe in a black cave whose slack shape waved like the sea. Thetis wrote a treatise noting greet is over like the sea. The lovely cheetah's sweetest phone wrote his notice that she will steal the weak king's luggage like Babel before the League of Nations grew. So Joe put the luggage and the label in the pocket of Joe the Kangaroo. Through trees of rich hotels that bowed of dreamless ease fled she, carrying the load and goading the road to her main scene to the sea. Don't ask either the road is eloping with your luggage, though heavy and large. You must follow and leave your moping to ride to my guidance and charge. When dawn passed, Quito returned from the road's end, where vanilla colored ladies ride. From Sevilla, his mantiered bride and young friend were forgetting their mentor and guide. For the lady and her friend from Le Touquet, in the very shady trees upon the sand, were plucking a white satin bouquet of foam while the sand's brassy band blared in the wind. Don Pasquito hid where the leaves drip with sweet, but a word stung him like a mosquito, for what they hear they repeat. Jumbo asleep, gray leaves thick furred as his ears keep conversations blurred. Thicker than hide is the trumpeting water, Don Pasquito's bride and his youngest daughter. Watch the leaves elephantine gray. <coughs> What is it grieves in the torrid day? Is it the animal world that snores, harsh and inimical in sleepy pores? And why should the spine flowers red as a soldier make Don Pasquito seem still moldier? Black Mrs. Beamoth gave way to wrath and the wildest malice, cried Mrs. Beamoth. Come, 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 scort lady, doom like a moth through palace room shady. 
The candle flame seemed a yellow pumpion, sharp as a scorpion. Nobody came. Only a bugbear, air unkind, that Budford papoose, the young spring wind, blew out the candle. Where is it gone? To flat coromandel rolling on. Where the satyrs are chattering limbs with their flattering glimpse of the forest in hands. Or the beauty of marrow and cucumber narrow and Ceres will join in the dance. Where the satyrs can fatter the fatly fruit and the gherkin greet and the marrow. Say, Queen Venus, I need will set up between us the god and the cucumber narrow. See, like palaces hid in the lake, they shake their greenhouses shot by our arrow. Narrow, the garden of seas is the pieces like creases and gliding the potting shed marrow. There the radish roots and the strawberry fruits with the nymphs high boots in the shade. Tumping and sapping, mazurkas, katrukas and turkus, krakoviaks hid in the shade. Where in the haycocks the country nymphs gave box where gowns that are looped over bright yellow petticoats, gaiters of leather and fences, tough avenues and straw hats bewildering many a leathern bat. There the hay make cowers and winds and showers and dew and the dogs sing bright flowers. Pumpkin and marrow and cucumber narrow have grown through the spangled June hours. Melons as dark as kids, half of a fountain lay thicker than honey and wrinkled than dark as band. All as Silenus that youthful as Venus, our gods and the wrinkled figs went, all the jewels ran. Said Queen Venus, Silenus will settle between us the nymph's disobedience forestall. With my bow and my quiver, which fresh and vanilla, I don't understand it at all. Rose and Alice, oh, the pretty lasses with the mouths like a callus and the hair a golden palace through my heart like a lovely wind they blow. Though I am black and not comely, though I am black as the darkest trees, I have swarms of gold that will fly like honeybees by the reavers of the sun. I will feed my words until they skip like those blessed lambs, the waterfalls and the reavers' horned rams. Then for all my darkness I shall be the peacefulness of a lovely tree, a tree wherein the golden birds are singing in the darkest branches. Oh. Across the flat on the pastel snow, two people go. And do you remember the last we've wandered the shore? Uh, no, for it is cool hearted December. Dead, the leaves that like us ears hung on the trees will last we've wandered and squandered joy here. Now mind us your husband will listen for these whispers, these tears for joy spear. And as they walk, they seem to pagodas. 
and all the ropes let down from the cloud ring the hard cool bell boots upon the trees cold us of overtunes ecstasies crown for love's shroud That hobnailed goblin, the bobtailed hob, said it is time I began to rub for strawberries, Bob. Hobnob with the pearls of cream like the curls of the dairy girls, and flushed with the heat and fruit. Brutish ripe are the gowns of the maids who dance to the pipe. Chase a maid? She's afraid. Go gather a bob cherry kissed from a tree, but don't, I pray thee, come bothering me, she said as she fled. The snout had sat as drink clouded cream neath the chestnut trees, as thick as a dream, so I went and lent. When none but the doltish, coltish wind nuzzled my hand for what it could find as it neighed. I said, don't touch me, sir, don't touch me, I say. You'll tumble my strawberries into the hay. Those snowmans of silver that be, the spring has sucked its sweetness from. I will bring with fair head plants and with apples, chill for the great god pans, high altar, I'll spill not one. And so in fun. We rolled on the grass and began to run, chasing that gaudy satyr, the sun. Over the haycocks away we ran, crying, Here be berries as sunburnt as pan. But Silenus has seen us. He runs like the rough satyr's son. Come away. La, 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 la. See me dance the polka, said Mr. Wag like a bear, with my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Where the waves seem chiming haycocks, I dance the polka there. Stand Venus's children in their gay frocks, maroon and marine and stare. To see me fire my pistol to the distance blue as my coat, like Wellington Byron, the Marquis of Bristol, bright speed, bright priest float. But the wheezing hurdy gurdy of the marine wind blows me to the tune of Annie Rooney sturdy over the sheaves of the sea. And bright as a seedsman's packet with zinnias, candy thumps, chills is Mrs. Marigold's jacket as she gapes at the indoor still. Red at dawn in the box of the sailor, blue as the goat of the sea, Nelson awoke, crowed like the cocks, then back to the descent key. And Robinson Crusoe Russo, the bright and foxy beer. But he finds fresh isles in the negress's smiles, the foxy doxy deer. As they watch me dance the polka, said Mr. Wag like a bear. In my top hat and my whiskers that tra la 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 trap the fair. Tra la 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 tra la 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 Cried the navy blue ghost of Mr. Bellaker, the Allegro Negro cocktail shaker. Why did the cock crow? Why am I lost on the endless road to infinity tossed? The tropical leaves are whispering white as the water. I race the wind in my flight down the promenade edging the far off sand is the foam of sirens metropole and grand as i race through the leaves as white 
Whispers water, my ghost flowed over a nursemaid quarter, and there I saw the lone grass weep where the guinea fowl plumaged houses sleep, and the sweet ring doves of curded milk watch the infanta's gown of silk in the ghost room tall where the governante whispers slyly, fading and ante. In at the window then looked he, the navy blue ghost of Mr. Berlaker, the Allegro Negro cocktail shaker. And his flattened face like the moon saw she, rhinoceros black, yet flowing like the sea. Beyond the sea, the ogre, the she, marine, obscene, horizon in hell. Black as a bison, see the tall black ag on the sofa in the album of his bell rope. Mustache, clear as a great bell, waves in 1880 bustles come. Late with tambourines of rustling foam, they answer to the names of ancient dames and shames, and only call horizons their home. Coldly beats Chinese in these black armored fleas that dance the breezes, seeking for horizons wide from her horizons. In her wide vermilion pavilion by the seaside, the doors clang open and hide where the wind died. Nothing but the princess cockatrice sling, dancing a caprice to the wind's tambourine. Swan-bosomed trees, those castles, torrells, those bustles where swells each foam bell of ermine. They roam and determine what fashions have been and what fashions will be, what tartan leaves born, what crinolines worn. By Queen Thetis, Palacis of tarlatine blue, like the thin plaided leaves. That the castle crags blue, or Belors, the pond on the water god's land. Her hair seemed gold trees on the honey celled sand. When the thickest gold spangles on deep water seen were like twanging guitar and like cold mandoline. And the nymphs of great caves with hair like gold waves of Venus wore Tarotin. Louise and Charlatine, Boreas's daughters, and the nymphs of deep waters, the nymph Talione Grisi on the Ondine, where plaided Victoria and thin Clementine, like the crinoline waterfalls. Would nymphs bear bonnets, shawls elegant, parasols floating are seen, the Amazons wear balsalines of Jean-Tier. Beside the blonde lace of a deep falling rill, through glades like a nun, they run from and shun the enormous and gold rayed rustling sun. And the nymphs of the fountains descend from their mountains like elegant willows and the deep barouche pillows. In Kashmir, Alvanda, Brej, Isabel, like the bells of bright waters from clearest wood well, are elegant. Favoring bonnets of blonde, and the stars in their apiary sylphs in their aviaries, seeing them spangled and sylphs, and their fond and their aviaries fanned with each long fluid hand, and the Monto Espanols mimic the waterfalls over the long and the light summer land. Lily, lazy and 
silly walk by the shore of the one glassy sea, talking once more neath her swan bosomed trees, whose castles, tunnels, whose vassals, morels of shade in their train follow. Ladies, how vain, hollow. Gone is the sweet swallow. Gone, Philomel. <laughs> Gone are clouds like inns on the garden springs and the mountain jeans. Can he meet sells dreams while the days seem gray and his heart of ice gray as chamois? Oh, the edelweiss and the mountain streams like how the sound Tira, Lyra drown in the waiter's dreams who has gone beyond the forest ways while his true and calm one seek the grave. Jordan Gordon on the holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, said the huntsman playing on his old bagpipe. Boring to death, the pheasant and the snipe. Boring the ptarmigan and grouse for fun. Boring them worse than a nine for a gun. Till the flax and leaves where the prunes are ripe heard the tart and the wind are droning in the pipe. And they heard Macpherson say, Where do the weaves go? What hotels hide their bustles and the gay umbrellas? And would there be room? Would there be room? Would there be room for me? There is a hotel at Ostend, cold as the wind without an end, haunted by ghostly poor relations of Bostonian conversations, like bagpipes rotting through the walls. And there the pearl ropes fall like shawls, with a noise like marine waterfalls. And another little drink wouldn't do us any harm. Pierces through the sabbatical calm, and that is the place for me. So do not take a bath in Jordan Gordon on the holy Sabbath on the peaceful day, or you'll never go to heaven, Gordon McPherson is speaking purely as a private person. That is the place, that is the place, that is the place for me. Grady says 
silly and shady, longing to be a lazy lady. What with the cupola's gables in the lakes, George and stables. In a fairy tale like the heat intense in the midst of the woods when across the fence the children gathering strawberries are changed by the heat. It's a negress as their fair hair shines there like gold to planets Calliope, Iopomona, Antiope, Echo, and Clio. The lily o grady, silly and shady, sauntered along like a lazy lady. Beside the waves, hangles her gown with tucked with a set in the colour of shining ring in her folder roll. Parasol was a great godson of the haycock shining, but she was a negress black as the shade, the time when the brightest lady laid. Then a satyr dog haired his trunks of trees, began to flutter, began to tease. And she ran the limbs with golden foot and travelled the strawberry buttercup and the thing will do as bright as the mesh of dead Panope's golden flesh. Made from the music whence we're born, never said things in the first start born and ran to wake in the lake with the water ripples in hay to rake. And Charlatine, Adeline, round was bubbling victory and the other fish expressed a wish for mastic metals and gowns with a swish and flights and flights as the a buttercup sounds of rosies and butter the wild wood lilies. They chase her as frisky as fillies. The red retriever had sat her, can whine and tease her and flatter. But silly, you grady, silly and shady, in the deep shade is a lazy lady. Now Pompey's dead, Homer's red, Heliogabbat has lost his head, and she is on the brightest wing, and dust forbids the birds to sing. Sir Falk, tall as a stork, before the honeyed fruits of dawn and ripe wood walk, and stalk with a gun, the Raynard colored sun, among the pheasant brother torn, and cornucorn has torn, forlorn the smock, but sheep, sit and sleep, periwig does William and Mary weep. Sally, Mary, matey, what's the matter? They cry, the huntsman and the Raynard colored son, and I sigh, oh, the nursery maid beg, with a leg like a peg, chase the feathered dreams like hens, and when they laid an egg in the sheepskin meadows, where the serene Kim James would stare. Horse and hounds, then he from the shade of the tree picked it up as boil to boil the nursery tree, said the mourners. In the corn tower strain, feathered tall as a crane, and whistling down the feathered reins, oh, Noah goes again. An old dull moan with a head like a poem, seeing the world as a bare egg, laid by the feathered air. Meg would beg three of these for the nursery trees. Of Jeff the trim and ham, she gave it underneath the tree where the boiling water and the boiling water hiss. Like the goose king feathered daughter, feather kiss. Ben and Hopper Kettle put upon their proper metal lest the flood, the flood began again through these, again through these. He's still a bop in the hotel in hell where Proserpina first fell. Blue as the gendarmerie with the waves of the sea. The the army. Nobody comes to give him his rum but the rim of the sky. Hippopotamus glam enhances the chances to bless with the venison. Alfred Lord Tennyson crossing the body with cold vegetation from pale deputations. A temperance worker. Hopping with glory and trip to the laureate's feet. Moving in classical meter. Like by lava, the lava came down from the roofs of the seas and wooden jaws. He took them in charges while beers of a broad for his rum.